So to control the tokens gain, this thing right here, we have to use a MIDI controller link. Well, let me show you. I'm going to select MIDI peak controller. So what this will do is function based on the peak of the song, the sound, this one right here in particular. See a little bit of signal there. So let's go ahead and set this controller for gain two. Or actually, no, let's do gain number four. I'm going to right click the gain link to controller. So it's the remote control. And here we could see the peak controller. I'm going to just do peak hit accept. Now you see nothing really happened. There you go. You can see something now, right? But you got to set the peak base to 50 to give it the 50%. So let me go ahead and right click and hit copy. And then I'll right click again. You see it says 50% for pace. So that's the value of the peak that we want. If you don't want 50, like how I started here, I started with minus 4.3. Look at the top right. It says negative 4.3. Right click and copy. Right click paste. It says 38 on the value. I look for 38. There it is. Next thing to do is to play around until we find the tension that we want, AKA the range. And we'll use a peak right here to get the threshold per se. Okay. You can see it's going upwards. That's because the volume is up. We want it downwards. So now it's moving downwards. Let's keep playing tension all the way at negative a hundred. Nothing. Let's dip in. Let's dip some more. There it is. And let's do a drastic. Another way around. Y you might be wondering how to do it on the mid side. Let me go ahead and show you. Let me go ahead and show you. Right click, inputs, parameters. We're looking for band six's level. Okay. That's the up and down that we care about. We have this red dot. Right click. Go to link to controller and then we go to the internal controller and we're going to select the same one that we wanted and you can see it moved. So you could control multiple controllers if you take off that remove conflict option. So create a controller again and do one more time. You can see remove conflicts, take it off. That way you'll control all of them. Now you may be asking why use it. This is to help duck sounds down at the right time for whatever you want to fit to remove conflicts within the mix. So you can see the kick bounces on the one on the one of the downbeat. And for the other parts where the kick isn't on the bass, it won't really affect it. So let me show you visual here. Kick bass. Here's a kick. Here's a bass with no kick on it and over here as well. So that means it's not going to dip, but that same first hit, that's when it creates a conflict because there's low frequencies with low frequencies colliding and that type of stuff. So we're lowering the 808 bass to allow the kick to stand in its own plane. 